Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, we're going to be taking an early look at the upcoming Target exclusive gold label Batgirl, Cassandra Kane. A very interesting Batgirl. Does it translate well to action figure form? We'll find that out. Like I said, it's a Target Gold Label exclusive. If you want her, I'll put the pre-order link down in the description below. It's going to be the usual DC Multiverse box. This time, Cassandra's hailing from the Batgirl's storyline. At least the artwork on the back fairly matches the figure. And here's the barcode for when she starts to hit store shelves, probably by the end of March, well into April could be sooner. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Target Gold Label exclusive, Cassandra Kane Batgirl. So now here's Cassandra Kane all out of the packaging, and do keep in mind she does come with two accessories. However, this is a bit of a retooling of the former released Batgirl all the way from Wave 1 of the DC Multiverse line. In terms of the accessories, I can't honestly say that they are Cassandra Kane inspired. Sure, the grapnel works, but a giant gold battering? No, and it's so ridiculously oversized. Between the two accessories, sure, I guess I'll take the grapnel. She has the hands to hold said grapnel, but not so much the gold battering. However, she does display nicely with this grapnel. So in that sense, sure, it does add to the figure, but not in the sense that, oh, that's a specific accessory for Cassandra Kane. So really to point out, instead of this being a collector's line with collector's grade accessories, we just get whatever thrown in the box. And this is without a doubt the most egregious because she really can't hold this battering and it's just too big. It's like something Spin Master would do for their children's line as opposed to the more collector expensive line. It doesn't work. The gold battering is just ridiculous. I would rather them not put this in the box, if anything, and just had them say, uh, it's just the grapnel at this point. The Cassandra Kane Batgirl is a mixed bag, to be quite honest with you. I really like the head portrait. They've given us a new head portrait. That's awesome. They've also given us a newer upper chest with the Bat logo on there. That is befitting of Cassandra Kane. The entire rest of the body belongs to that Batgirl from Wave 1. Does it match, or at least closely match, Cassandra Kane's suits? Kinda, sorta. You're gonna see the boots outline. That's all black plastic. There's really little to no paint on this. And in terms of it being an all black cast figure, yeah, it does aid in that sense, and you get plenty of articulation in the head, the arms, and everything else. But to be honest, in saying that you're a huge fan of Cassandra Kane, I would feel like this would be a letdown. I am not a huge fan of Cassandra Kane, although I like the look of this Batgirl, of which, yes, you can get her posed out in all the different Batman-type positions. She would be able to do that as a very acrobatic-type ninja character, right? Now, the big saving grace for this figure is the brand new wired cape. That really enhances this figure. And again, much like Detective Comics 27 Batman, is very good for the price point now of 20, 23 bucks, somewhere in that realm. Give her a flight stand, it really does bring this character to life. So while it doesn't necessarily excuse overly reusing something, it does meet the needs for me in terms of the character of Cassandra Kane, because once again, it really doesn't matter all that much to me, and it closely resembles the character. The cape itself, though, is really nice. It's got a really nice bendy wire. The back totally reminds me of old Kenner capes, and it is thicker. It's not necessarily a real see-through type cape, and for that alone, I definitely appreciate it. But again, in utilizing a DC Multiverse stand, yeah, you can really bring this character to life, whereas some really interesting accessories would have been just 
string or some kind of bat grapnel that you could attach to her belt. Simplicity is key and accessories are key to really aiding and bringing together a character like Cassandra Kane. And that goes across the board. We really do love these DC Comics characters. Let's see a little bit more love put into the accessories and the characters as toys. And again, to really highlight the cape, that is really a triumph here. That is very cool to see. And I love that you can really get it to do all the Batman-ish type things that you would want, even draping it over the shoulders. It'll kind of bunch up in the back, but that's not really a problem. It achieves the look that I'm really wanting to see. The head portrait, the mask, is fantastic. And also to point out, she's a little bit gangly. A little bit too long of arms, a little bit too long of legs. But I'm happy to say that in terms of her proportions, it really will fit with a lot of other DC Multiverse characters, like the Nightfall Batman or Batwoman. So while she's a little schmidge taller than Batwoman, she is shorter than Batman. And that I'm very thankful for. Although, as we all know, Cassandra Cain should be more on the smaller, petite size, right? Nightwing, Robin, she's smaller than them. That totally works. Although, it seems to be the other characters are actually getting bigger, right? A few years ago, this was a really tall Batgirl. It's just the characters themselves around her getting larger. And between Catwoman and the Red Hood, sure, it's always nice to welcome a new member of the Bat family, right? Kind of expand upon the lore and have it be ever evident in your DC Multiverse collection. Even going up against villains like Joker and Riddler. She's smaller than them, so I'm thankful for that, right? It's nothing worse than having a character like Batgirl be taller than Joker, Superman, something like that. So, that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new upcoming Target Gold Label DC Multiverse exclusive, Cassandra Kane Batgirl. And again, thank you to my friends over at McFarland Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. There are things about this figure, much like a lot of the recent releases, that drive me nuts. It's just, here's stuff in a box, and we kind of sort of change things here and there. That's really what this figure is, but to point out the cape, I'm having fun with that. It's an all black figure. You don't see too much of the details. So if you can put up with a little bit of a reuse, reissue kind of deal, this might be the bad girl for you. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, we really gotta focus on that collectorness of the DC Multiverse line. Less Spin Master, more high quality. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.